Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Gartanian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy going on here. We're back on Mars. This is Sol 938. I'll have the link for this under the video in the description. Now, this is a black and white image, grayscale, and it's pretty hard to look at really when you zoom in because it's got this kind of grid over it. But there is a simple way of getting rid of that, which I'll show you in a second. So the link will be to this, like I said, uh, here's the, the soul number at the bottom here, soul 938. And this is fairly recent, this one. It was only taken a, probably a couple of months ago, not that long ago. But the, the rover is really not moving at the moment. And we're, us Mars researchers are really struggling at the moment. I think they've deliberately tried, tried to cut us off, actually, uh, because we, we had so many good finds later, in the latter part of 2014, late summer and, and uh Autumn, we, we had so much stuff in the press uh, across the world. There was the traffic light, there was the, the ball, there was those all sorts of things. I really think that, uh, that they've put it into some, a kind of semi shutdown mode now. And now that they've changed directors, I really think they're. When, when you look on the, the pages, the, the new pages now, you get. I'll just show you actually. What you get now is a load of thumbnails. Uh, you get a few. If you're lucky, you get about four or five or ten uh, full-size images. Um, when I say full-size, they're still not very big. Um, but let's have, a, let's have a look at one of these new sets here. I mean, they, they always start off with thumbnails like this, which are no good to anybody, really, because they're so small, you can't see anything in them. Um, and if you're lucky, you'll get a, a bunch of, of full-size images at the top. I'll show you. Hang on, let's go back. Let's try this one here, 955. I mean, this is very frustrating. I think they've been told basically to, to put it into semi-shutdown and, and really not give us researchers anything to get our teeth into. And this is typical of what you get now. You have three images at the top and the rest are all poxy little thumbnails that no, they are no good to man or beast, really. Uh, so, I, yeah, I, I really do think they're deliberately trying to shut us down, actually. Um, this is partially why I've been doing so many moon videos recently. But never mind. I mean, you know, the, things may pick up. Uh, if, if nothing major is found in the next month or two, which it probably won't be, then they might start moving around again and might, might start giving us more stuff. Who knows? But I really do think there's been a, a change in policy from the top when it comes to the, the Curiosity rover. And the, the major finds that we found last year are probably the reason why uh, there's a direct correlation. Basically, the thing's barely moved since November last year, and uh, it's, it's struggled to find anything. But there's still, if you go through the archives, there's still stuff to be found. So don't lose too much heart here, because basically there are older images that you can go through. There's still many images we haven't looked at, probably. There's probably tens of thousands still unsearched and un picked through images so well this is the one I've, I've got anyway and if you look here on the right you've got this strange rock here with a what looks like something cut out of it and another pile of rocks here with a similar cut out or hole in it right so this I've got it up in my processor here we're getting a bit closer now when you zoom into these images you'll see what I mean about the the grid on these it's really really quite horrible it's got this horrible grid pattern but a simple way to get rid of this uh, is to blur it and what i use is the gaussian blur and set the radius to one uh, i use this all the time actually to clean up these images if the images are really bad and really grungy and, and uh, got lots of blocks and 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 lines across them you, know, you can always set it to 1.2 or 1.6 or 2 I rarely go above 1.6 or 1.4, uh, generally about 1 is enough. But if you just do it with a radius of 1, then it totally cleans it up and gets rid of that horrible grid. Uh, but then the, the image looks a bit blurry, so if you go in too close, it doesn't look great. But that's, I, I thought I'd just show you how I do that. But I've, I've, already, got, I've already done that to uh, these images here. Now, now there are two images with, the, with these strange things in here. There's this one, I've just, uh, let's undo that, because that's a raw image, let's keep that raw. Okay, and there's another one here, which was taken just before, 
and it's got the same things here so you can see the same objects in this photo here and this one's slightly better actually because you've got a slightly better angle from this side and you can see here what looks like an entrance now judging by some of the things other things that i've found in, in gale crater in recent months i'm beginning to wonder whether this may be a dolmen or an ancient burial site uh, because it looks like these rocks here. Let's show you the, the cleaned up version of this. I brightened it a bit as well and uh, just got, given it a bit of Gaussian blur to get rid of that pixelation and, and horrible grid. Now, let's move it across here, sorry. Uh, it looks like this rock on top has been placed there. I.e. it's a separate rock sitting on other rocks and there's an entrance here that slopes in, it's got a bit of sand in there, but it looks to be like it's manufactured. Now it's very crude, but this one here, this particular rock, looks like it's been shaped rather well for some reason, and it may be related to it. There's also another little hollow rock here, but that may be nothing to do with it, I don't know. Um, now I will have clips of these at the end of the video. I'll take some close-ups of these, and I'll, I'll quickly show you, let's go, and then I, Look at that. It's a bit hard to see this because it's on the edge of the image here. I'm trying to let's get it in the center there so you can see it better. There's an entrance, there's different rocks around the edge, and there's a larger rock on top, which looks like it may have been placed there, much like a dolmen. Now I've got I've done a quick Google search on dolmens here. Uh, let's have a look here. Dolmens. Now, if you look over on Wikipedia you will see there's all sorts of dolmens all over the world. Ancient uh, megalithic cultures or mesolithic cultures used to used to um, put these at burial sites, basically. And some of these are really large, some of them are not so large. Uh, there's many, many different examples here. Um, and the one that I thought was quite similar was this one here in Portugal. Um, you've got a rock placed on top, you've got rocks either side, and you've got an entrance and various rocks around the area. Now, this is basically a burial site. Uh, bones and and uh, stuff would be buried in one of these and your ancestors would come to visit you. Uh, like like we go to visit graves today, you know, it's, it's that sort of thing. There are many types of these and um, they come in all shapes and sizes. Some are massive, some have huge, great big 20, 30 ton blocks. Some are much smaller. You've got them in France, you've got them in the UK, you've got them in Portugal, you've got them in the Netherlands here, you get them in North America, you get them in Ireland. I mean, all over the place, India here, Spain. Uh, I mean, they are literally, these things were, were common thro throughout the world many thousands of years ago, probably ten, f between five and 10,000 years ago. Uh, ancient cultures all had a similar kind of uh, structure, which they would bury people in or under. And these were often aligned to the sunrise as well, so that when the sun rose, that the, the, the light would come through or shine into, into the structure. So there we go. I thought I'd just show you that. So could this be a dolmen? It could be. Could it just be a pile of rocks? Possibly. <laughs> um, let's, let's go back to the image here. It's, very, it's, it's quite small. This is probably only a, a couple of feet across uh, maximum, really. Let's have a look at the other one. It might be easier to view on this one because it's on that side. Let's have a look there. Let's zoom in. Right. Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly how big it is, but it's not very big. Uh, from one end to the other, it's probably only a, maybe a foot, maybe a foot and a half, possibly two feet, but no longer than two feet because, I mean, it is disorientating with the, with the Curiosity rover because the images are taken from seven foot up in the air. So unless you're a basketball player, it's really hard to work out how big things are. And there's very little point of reference in these images, as I've said many times before. So what is it? Is this a, a carved artifact here? Could this be part of a basin or part of a building uh, or part of a, a drainage system, perhaps? I mean, it, this may be part of um, a sewer or, or a, a toilet or some kind of uh, irrigation system for a building. It may not be a dolmen at all. It could be any number of things. But it certainly looks to me like this rock on top here 
has been placed on top of these. And that is very reminiscent of some of the sort of um, the uh, structures you might see in ancient Greece or ancient Turkey, where you have um, uh, they, they had sort of sewer systems many thousands of years before we did in the West, and you have drainage, and quite often you have these fairly crude um, stone blocks put together, and water would have passed through here. It could have been part of a a, a bath or or a, a toilet or or some other kind of um, facility uh who knows who knows but it to me this looks like it's been intelligently made uh this looks rather symmetrical this this hole here it doesn't look like it's been randomly eroded by the wind nasa keeps saying and 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 debunkers keep trying to say that all these things are just carved by the wind well i don't agree with that because basically the air pressure on mars isn't really high enough to ca carve rock it might be able to move around a bit of sand here and there, but not much else. The air pressure is very, very low indeed, apparently. So if that's the case, then how the hell would it carve such wonderful shapes and, and skull-like shapes in these rocks and, and stuff like that? I don't really see how that can work. Um, of course, the conditions may have changed quite a lot in, in recent years on Mars. I really do think there was a civilization out there, and uh, they were probably around until fairly recently uh, judging by the, the the state of some of the stuff that we've found it looks quite new when I say new uh, probably thousands of years uh, old not millions um, but who's to say I mean uh, the level of preservation on some of these things is so good uh, like like um, this other thing here which I published recently uh, the level of preservation is, is really quite m miraculous really this is the, the stone coffin thing I published very recently, a, a, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. And this seems to look like it's got some kind of gold, golden hieroglyphics on it across here. Now this looks like a, very much like a coffin lid, and this looks like a stone coffin, which is kind of broken away on the left side here. So, and, and if you look at my, my playlists and my other videos, there are, there are loads and loads of similar burial items that, have, that I've found. Lots of other people have also found them. So when you have this much stuff in, in, in one place, in, in, a, in this part of Gale Crater, you've got to start looking at it as a, as a body of evidence and not just a few or one or two individual things. Th th these things are scattered all over the place. And like I've said before, I really do think this area was a burial area, much like Valley of the Kings. I mean, I've, um, th this... There's this video. There's lo there's loads of other videos that I've I published recently, w with what looks like a, te a stone temple, and um, also carved statues and l lots of burial items, the sort of things that you would see buried with somebody in a in a in a grave, much like the ancient Egyptians used to do, where they used to have little statuettes buried with them and that sort of thing. So. There are, there are lots of these things, and a lot of them do resemble ancient dolmens and, and uh, ancient stone coffins and that kind of thing. Um, there may have been lots of different cultures on Mars in the past, and we're just seeing one part of it here, perhaps. This could be, a part of, like I said, part of an irrigation system or part of a burial mound. Or, or this, could, this whole area here could have been covered in, in dirt and rock and it could have been eroded away um, over thousands of years, and we're left with the uh, just the entrance here. Who's to say? Um, when when you look at these, they, they they come in so many different shapes and sizes, and I'm sure a lot of the structures we're seeing on the Mars surface are burial areas and burial mounds, uh, where you may have a coffin in there, you may just have bones in there. Uh, who knows? So that was that. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd throw uh, there's one other thing i thought i'd throw in just to uh to clear it up i've got so many things on my desktop that have, have been sitting around for ages i thought i'd show you this one now this was um this is from sol 821 this is going back a, a, a few months now um and couldn't really work out what this is it looks like it might be a, a chain link or something made of it could be metal it could be stone who knows but it's really odd <laughs> Uh, so I just took a clip of it and did did a few enhancements on it. Don't know what it is. 
here's the, the raw image, and uh, if I remember rightly, it's near the middle somewhere. Where is it? Uh, I probably won't be able to find it now. So I, there it is. So there it is, of course, it's not very big. It's probably only about four, six inches, maybe, six inches across, uh, maybe a bit less. There it is there in the raw image. So I don't know what that is. Any ideas? Leave a comment below if you've got any ideas what this may be. I've, I've been a bit reluctant to publish this one because I really don't know what to call it. So I just thought I'd tag it on the end of this video just to just to clear it up. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll put a few of these clips in at the end, like I normally do, and animate them for you. I shall see you soon.